Hello, I'm Jim White, and you're watching Sky Sports News. Today, we bring you an important report from the Sky Academy Skills Studios. Let's go straight now to Studio One. Good evening, my name is Claire, and this is Stephen, and today's special report is about sectarianism. Recently, there has been a new app created that's taken the world by storm. Students at Ayrshire College have released an app, this app, called Nail Van Van in order to prevent online abuse regarding sectarianism. The app is designed to make people think before they post. How the app works is if you see someone online posting on social media sectarian language, the app will screenshot it and put a stamp on the post to make the person aware that this is offensive with the Nil by Bam logo. The app also features news stories and sectarian measures of abuse online. It also features the consequences with one of the worst being two to three years in prison using sectarian language. The app also contains the creators of the app story. The Nil by Bam app is available for all devices free of charge. This app should change the way that you think about of the better. With the aim to make a positive impact. To find out more, we, we have crossed over to Christopher Field reporting from the Handon Park. Hello and welcome to Sky News with Chris Field. Today we have a special segment sponsored by Nil by Mouth, which is to gain awareness to sectarianism in Scotland. Firstly, we should establish that. Sectarianism is not just football related, it is a cancer embedded in Scottish history. Also many people believe that Rangers and Celtic are not the only reason that teams are with a sectarianism background, but also teams such as Hibarian and Hearts play a big part in the problem as well. Examples of abuse that has happened have anything from painting cubs to painting cubs blue, blue and red outside a Celtic pub, to many cases of murder and knife related crime. Celtic player Scott Brown was mocked by Rangers for fans as his sister was a cancer victim and also a Celtic fan had been given a young Rangers fan who suffered from Down syndrome, uh, Down syndrome abuse through social media. Now we have an interview with a, an anonymous supporter of football who lives in Glasgow. Have you ever experienced any sectarian hate? Uh, I have uh, the, the old firm game uh, the week there I me and my wee cousin were doing watching the game and a bunch of Celtic fans had walked past and they'd started shouting, oh yeah, Rangers this, yeah, Rangers that, and it really, it, it gets kind of annoying, you know? Yeah, no deal. Have you ever committed a sectarian crime? To be honest, I, I think almost everybody that's into football and uh, go to the games and that have a bit of it, but they think it's a bit of banter, but some folk just take it a bit too far now. Do you believe sectarian, sectarianism is a problem that needs addressed in Scotland? I I do because uh, quite a lot of the time at first folks start it off as banter but then it just gets to the level where they're going about stabbing folk and that and it's just not right. Thanks for using your time today sir. The charity Nil by Mouth has been working towards a Scotland without sectarian hate for years. Now it's time that we put the religious bigotry behind us. Stop the crime and law, break in and look towards the future and make Scotland a better place. This has been Chris Field reporting from Hamden Park. Thanks for watching and thank you to the Sky Academy Skills Studio team.